announcement. The first is we are going to move the show instead of weekly, it's going to be bi-weekly. So that's the transition that's going through. And just to let you know, every episode is posted on our YouTube channel and it's Mansoor. We also put it on um, Instagram. Our next um, announcement is on December 1st, we are having our annual VIP reception. So it used to be four hours. Now we've expanded it, extended it to the entire day. So Wednesday, December 1st from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Show up, come shopping. There's refreshment all day. I meet new people, reconnect with um, old friends. And there's a surprise for everybody who comes in and the surprise will be a percentage of discount, but you will have to be there to know how much of a discount you are getting on your shopping that day. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna segment into our origin story. I have three videos I wanna show you. First one was our ribbon cotton that Newstown NBC did. And the next one, it's called Spotlight. Cutting was held for a brand new clothing shop on Park Avenue. The new store is called Manzaware. It's near the intersection of Park and Oxford Street. City officials on hand for the ribbon cutting today. The store owner, Nita Brown, says her boutique combines fashions from Ghana and the U.S. Her company employs craftspeople from all over West Africa, including tailors and seamstresses who make one of a kind pieces for the store. And this is the back of it. Officially opened the business in November 2010. And just where it's taken to finally get to a store on Park Avenue, it took me over two years to find this location. So it's been a very exciting day. And she tells us she used to work for Kodak, but left to pursue her passion, opening up a fashion business. We wish her the best of luck. The demand for customized clothing is growing as people seek out fashion that fits their style and size. And a local business is creating unique designs true to the owner's heritage. Tonight, our small business spotlight shines on Mansoware. So that's 18, and the bicep says 14 and a half. Somehow, Nita Brown says this was her destiny, to be a clothing designer with her own shop on Park Avenue in Rochester, New York. Brown was born and raised in Ghana, and her business is a reflection of what she learned from her family while growing up there. I, growing up in Ghana, my mom had always had dressmakers, fabric makers, bringing a ton of fabric. So as a child, I grew up surrounded by dressmakers, fabric makers, bringing it to both my mom and my grandmother. Brown first came to Rochester in 2000 to work for Kodak when she realized she received lots of compliments about her clothes. Her passion for fashion, creativity, and a love of the Ghanaian prints and patterns led her to start Mansa Wear. And these are skirts. Where she designs unique, limited edition clothing from fabric she purchases in Ghana. Part of it was, you know, background, and part of it was purely being in Rochester and people like, we really love the way you dress. Did you ever envision that this is what you would be doing? No, never. This is my favorite. She began by doing trunk shows for her friends in 2010, then set up a rack during Fashion Week in 2012. In 2014, she opened her store. Brown only carries a small inventory because at Mansaware, it's about the experience. But these are our bins of fabric. Customers select a fabric and one of her exclusive designs, whether it's a shirt or a skirt, a dress or a jacket. So tell me how the business works. I come in as a customer. I'm looking for a shirt or some sort of an outfit. How does it work? So you come in um, as a customer. You can either, a lot of people are finding me online because of Google, or you come in here and you see all these beautiful fabrics. So I have about 50 different pieces of these two yards fabric that you can select from. So then I take your measurement, it's sent to Ghana. And in 28 days, the outfit comes back. Mansaware partners with a women-owned manufacturing facility in Ghana where they have about 300 employees putting together the custom orders. So I'm sending this to Ghana with his measurements and everything. And those fabrics, they are hand-selected by Brown from designs created by Ghanaian artists. So I go to Ghana once a year, and once I get there, I go to their retail shop, which I was showing you on site send some of my fabric that I'm interested in to my social media fans. People give me a lot of insight and feedback and then I spend maybe two or three days just at the warehouse selecting. She says the inspiration for her designs comes from these prints. One of the beauty of print is how exciting it is to design. 
So I'll give you uh, examples. Like this particular print, you see how the design shifts about four times. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a dress I did with it. With that print? Yeah, but look how it is. Brown says all 900 of her customers have come from either social media or word of mouth. She's now ready to take the next step and is working on a marketing strategy. I'm actually working with U of R and RIT graduate students to do my market research. And then I want to then hire a professional and go through the market, you know, do my strategy. Brown says what won't change is the customer experience. Everybody wants to be unique. Everybody wants to experience something, right? So you cannot go to Ghana, but you can experience the whole entire journey. And if you know a small business we should highlight, email me at spotlight at WHEC. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed the video. And it tells you a lot about Mansawe. So, once again, if you are new to the channel, you just happen to be seeing us. My name is Nita Brown, and I am the owner and designer for Mansawe. Mansawe is a custom-made and ready-to-wear clothing um, design shop. We are based in Rochester, New York. We are located on Park Avenue. I design using bold patterns and vibrant Ghanaian prints. Um, all our fabrics are from Ghana and the production is done in Ghana. So before we go on to the next um, segment, which is how we survived COVID, wanted to let you know, please send in your comments, your questions. You can either do it now live or afterwards, and I'll be delighted to uh, respond to that. Um, and just as a reminder, on Wednesday, December 1st, 11 a.m. until 7 p.m., we have our annual VIP reception. It's going to be at the shop. There'll be refreshments, um, old friends to connect with, new ones to make, and there's going to be a surprise for everyone who come in that day. And the surprise is going to be a percentage of the item you buy. So, Without talking, without any further ado, I'm just going to let the next video roll, which is how we survive COVID. Enjoy. When your business is designing custom clothing, it is important to see those customers in person. It sure is. So when the coronavirus hit, one local shop had to make a few adjustments just to stay afloat. Tonight, our small business spotlight returns to Mansaware. Here at Mansaware on Park Avenue, Nita Brown has added a new item to her inventory. She's making face masks. The skirt was done in this fabric. We created a mask for um, the bride. But these aren't ordinary masks. They are from colorful fabrics she hand-selected from Ghana, the country where she was born and raised. I had to pivot because nobody's buying $155 dress. They're not going anywhere. So I pivoted and started using some of the fabrics my sample fabrics to make the mask. Making masks certainly wasn't the original plan. Brown opened Mansaware in 2014. She says it was her destiny to be a clothing designer. And here, it's all about the experience. We do a quality check when it's done. Customers select from about 50 different patterns. Brown takes your measurements and sends them to Ghana, where she partners with a manufacturing facility that puts the custom orders together. But her business model got turned on its head during the pandemic. Ghana was shut down, so she used the sample fabric she had in-house and had them sewn locally into masks. And then she started making them available online and for curbside pickup. Let me show you how I put it on pre-tie. My daughter has been my spokesperson doing all the ads. Hold on. And we started posting them. And that was a godsend. At least it kept us afloat. Now her store has reopened, and you'll find a large display of colorful masks on the shelves. The bulk of my customers are the ones doing Zoom calls. What's going to make them look good up? <laughs> beautiful mask, beautiful top, right? Because the bottom, they need to be comfortable. During the time when the store was physically closed, Brown used the opportunity to renovate her store. We painted it, we redesigned the dressing area to make it really, really nice and plush, like a real boutique. So that's what we did. And I had an enormous amount of help. Friends just chipped in. Brown credits the community support for helping to keep her business afloat during this stretch. And she says the coronavirus pause has given her time to better develop her business strategy, fine-tuning the focus on custom-made clothing, 
but also seizing on the opportunity to reach a larger customer base. A year from now, I think we would have grown much more in terms of Western New York, we're going to do targeted marketing, but also online. So I see more positive. If you know of a small business we should feature, email me at spotlight at whec.com. Hey, welcome back. I do hope you enjoyed the video and actually you've enjoyed today's show. We're almost at the end of it. But I want to thank you once again for coming. I'll see you in two weeks. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll, I'll see you after Thanksgiving. Enjoy Thanksgiving if I don't. Yeah, enjoy Thanksgiving and I'll see you after Thanksgiving. But I want to thank you once again. And uh, if you are new or you just saw us, once again, my name is Nita Brown. I'm the owner and designer for Mansa Wear. We are located on Park Avenue on uh, locations 367 Park, Park Avenue and Oxford Street. Um, we are also online at uh, www.mansawear.com. And Mansa, it's a soft, it's not a Z, so it's Mansa. So to pronounce it, think of Mensa, the brainy people, and make it an A, and it will be months away. Um, so I will see you soon, shortly. Um, thank you once again, and have a great day or afternoon. Thanks. Bye-bye.